play before. Sissy picked up.
luck finding one of those manuals? No kidding! Really? Well, which one? Look at that! Building a computing machine out of Spectrum Potatoes, a primer. I'm just glad it survived all these years. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. In fact, I put aside something special on the off chance that somebody would search out those data pads for me. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Ain't that just ironical. If I'd worked a little longer back at the cannery, I might have found this myself. Two whole data pads? Be still my beating heart. Oh, almost forgot your payment. Well, don't keep me in suspense. The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible. You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. That's a complete set. All three parts. I'm gonna be the greatest engineer Halcyon's ever seen. Um, aside from you, Miss Parvati, I swear, I'll do you proud. I'm glad we could help, Thomas. I've been saving something for you. Just a little contraption I found. Should fit right into your outfit. I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. You know something? I think you're right. The town could use another engineer, and I'm on my way to becoming one. I could do a lot of good in Edgewater. Maybe even keep a garage of my own with a little workbench and my very own toolbox. It's just... Adelaide's never gonna forgive me. Not in a hundred years. I go crawling back to my old life in Edgewater and... I'm as good as dead to her. Are you sure about this? If we head back to Edgewater on our own, Adelaide won't come with us. She'll stay here and curse us till the end of her days. I expect we got no choice. Edgewater needs us back, and loath as I am to admit it, we need Edgewater. You okay with this, Grace? My affairs are all settled. Thanks for helping me with Zoe. Just give us some time to gather our personals and say our goodbyes. If you run into Reed, you tell him we're coming back, yeah?
You might not care for my leadership, but I appreciate what you've done for this town. That's good enough for me. Adelaide and I have a history. It was unlikely she'd ever come back. But hope springs eternal. We are in your debt. I am authorizing you for a discount on all official Spacer's Choice products, courtesy of the people of Edgewater. By all means. This whole fiasco is not one I am keen on repeating. I was too hard on my own workers. I pushed them to their breaking point. With more hands at the cannery, I expect productivity will rise. I expect we'll grow. And I expect I can ask corporate to send us some more medicine. We'll survive, one way or another. Hey, you hear about Wilson? Heard Marauder's gone in. Just between us? Wilson deserted. Lost his nerve. Ran off in the thick of night. Almost lost a finger. I've never actually been in here. It seemed scary from the outside. Big drinker, are you? The latest report? Only the part that said we ain't making our quotas. When I was little, we'd get freighters in every Sunday noon. 
Now they only come from... once a month. I love the wind here. That was quick.
I believe I hear Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave serial. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. I wanted to be an engineer. I could spend all day in here and not have looked at half. Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. No, it isn't. It's a mess, but it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer's just passing through. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. We seem different, so welcome aboard. Felix Millstone. Nice to see you out of Docking Bay. Keeping your nose clean? Yes, ma'am. Been at least a couple weeks since my last nose-related incident. Uh-huh. I'm glad to see you in a captain's custody. Just try not to steal any critical parts from my ship. It's possible I got caught lifting some spare parts a couple years back, but it was only just that one time. Honest. I'd tell you to stay out of trouble, but I know you'll find it anyway. Whatever you do, just make sure I don't find out. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual... Real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if... Well, maybe you could teach me some things. 
I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Wow, great! I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your, your name's pretty too. I should have said... Sorry. Not a problem, Captain. Ask away. Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Sorry, I forget not everyone knows this ship like I do. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned and a haven for miscreants now. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. This is Halcyon News. Good, you're back. Not that I missed you. I assure you, I am not capable of such emotional capacity. Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? What? No. If it were, I'd be hollering loud enough to wake the dead. So, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through me- She sent me a poem. I don't know if I- Oh, law. That's- It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering- Yeah, okay. Deep breath. Maybe I just got a little squish for a minute. But yeah, there's other stuff. Thanks for the talk, Captain.
Company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or he'll parley with you. Not another step in that direction, friend. Heads up, boss! McRed, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. First, I'm gonna... Hey, Felix! Look, everyone, it's Felix! Oh, hey there, your lordship. Good to see you again. Is this... a nice man, a friend of yours, Felix? Seeing you here feels like old times. Now, what brings you down to my sprat-infested broom closet of a kingdom? Sure, everybody knows Captain McCred, terror of the back bays and purveyor of rare fungi. Felix is a good kid. Bad habits, poor judgment, awful taste. But we like him down here. That's right, sir. Just the parts. We'll be in and out in a jiff. You won't even know we were here. Tennyson just keeps feeding the furnace, don't she? We're still playing with her last sacrifice out back with the crew. You don't just ask a king for a favor when you're standing in his court. You bring tribute, sacrifices, prophecy, shit like that. Boss, are you out of your mind? Huh? 
heard something. What was that? Uh oh! So cozy. Today's my birthday. Oh yeah? Fuck your birthday. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Let's take him down! Let me go! Good with these. 